Welcome to the supernaturally wonderful world of God and Stacy Otta's adventures. You ought to see God through my eyes and you'll be saying, Wow, thanks God, how'd you do that? It's me, Stace, and this one's called How to Get to Heaven from Almonte. <laughs> Who the heck knows where Almonte is unless you live there or work there? But God knows where Almonte is, and that's where my newest, bestest friend Margie lives. So one day I was texting, and I text my friend saying that I love my life, and I live heaven on earth, and thank you, Jesus, because I enjoy heaven on earth. And then when I was leaving work from downtown L.A., I was reading the text that my girlfriend sent me, Margie from El Monte, and she says, I want to know how to live, or I want to be able to say, I live heaven on earth. And then I happen to see this on the ground. It says, how to get to heaven from El Monte. <laughs> Are you kidding me? God is creator of the universe, master of the universe, in charge of the moon and the stars and the sky and the sun. But then he goes through all that orchestration to put this on the ground in downtown L.A. in front of me, saying how to get to heaven from El Monte as I'm reading my text from my girlfriend, Margie from El Monte, saying, I want to be able to say, I can live heaven on earth. That is just total confirmation that God sent Jesus here so that we could have not only heaven and heaven on earth. And so just to let you have, I mean, because I like to do eyes to see, ears to hear, heart to feel, and Bible verse to confirm. Here's a couple Bible verses. So let these resonate in your heart. So it's Luke 11 when Jesus taught the disciples how to pray. They said, he said, our father in heaven, hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven on earth your will be done as it is in heaven so god wants his kingdom to be here down on earth so let that resonate in your heart god wants us to enjoy and live heaven on earth now not when we get to heaven because god is our loving daddy our father in heaven so he doesn't want us to be suffering, duh, that's the devil. And he says in John 10.10, 10, the thief, that's the devil. He comes only in order to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus came that we may have and enjoy life and have it in abundance to the full, till it overflows, till it overflows. And you want to know how to let it overflow and how I enjoy heaven on earth? I read my bible but that's not the only thing i do right here this little thing right here it's an ipod you can get it at the mac stores you can get it at target and walmart and it's 50 bucks and you can put worship music on and you can put preachers teaching all kinds of stuff so like this is just like me and god just walking around and he's teaching me talking to me um telling me what confirming things and then we can just sing at the top of our lungs like have a concert in my truck or dance and stretch i eat healthy i work out to get rid of my stress um i stretch stretch okay imagine when you get up in the morning and you're stretching in the morning that just feels like pure ecstasy right like oh and if you stretch all day because it's good for you it gets rid of stress and I was stretching, and I said, God, this is pure ecstasy. I love stretching because it gets rid of stress and gives me a better body. And then the very next day, God gives me this personalized license plate that says, more ecstasy. So God wants us to have more ecstasy, and I love that. So, um, And then when you feel good, then you can give out of your overflow because you just want everyone to feel as good as you are physically and emotionally and mentally and then um oh and then here's john three sixteen. it says for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life okay now the second part john three seventeen, is just as good it says for god did not send his son into the world to condemn the world no but that the world through him might be saved, saved. And if you look up the word in Greek, the word means heal, 
preserve, do well, be made whole, and delivered. So if you think about that, it's not like, okay, we're saved and we get to go to heaven and we'll enjoy heaven when we get there. No, God wants us to be whole and happy and healed right here on earth so we can enjoy life with him because he's our daddy in heaven. So, And then I want this also to resonate in your heart. It's a sin to dread, to regret, to have guilt or condemnation or unforgiveness or shame or insecurity or inferiority, any negative yucky feelings, those are of the devil, the enemy. So those are not of God. So just don't think of it. Anything from now on that's negative, that's the devil, okay? <laughs> don't listen to him. Listen to God. God just wants us to have love and joy and peace and laughter and thrills and prosperity, health and wealth. Focus on those things instead of focusing on the negative. And most of you know when you're listening to the devil, or maybe you don't even know, you just think that's part of you. But if you're listening to the negative, that's the devil. If you're listening to the good stuff, like you're going to do something great, don't worry. Uh, and I also like the Bible verse that says, um, call to me and I will tell you wonderful and marvelous things that you cannot figure it out on your own. Because I always ask God what I need to do. And when it's like really super hard, I just ask God because he knows the answer. <laughs> so I hope and let this resonate in your heart. God really, 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 really wanted us to know that we can enjoy heaven on earth, even from El Monte. <laughs> he did that to for confirmation to let us know that we can enjoy heaven on earth. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. And I pray that God blesses you with anything and everything you need so that you can do his perfect will, live heaven on earth. Bye. Have a wonderful day. You ought to know, God only wants to bless us with peace and prosperity in all things so we can be a blessing. Thank you, Jesus, for heaven and heaven on earth. Whee!